tell us about your experience, hen, because you're like busy letting the cart roll off into the outer space. <laughs> Welcome back to Oso Farm. I'm Brandy. This is my husband Brian doing all the hard lifting for me. <laughs> and we are here at Aldi and it's Sunday night. We've done all of our, the big portion of our big shop for the month of September. I did not have a meal plan once again or a huge list. So organization has not been my thing lately but anyway we are loading up Aldi and are gonna head home and um, get this filmed for you if you are new here we are a large family we have 10 children our oldest wow. Our oldest is married and we have a sweet son-in-law that loves a shout out, hey Christopher, and a sweet new grandbaby, Daniel. And then um, we have a daughter that's no longer living with us. She is in college and then a slew of teenagers. And um, we lost our Ezra Luke, who is eight and a half. He passed away in April. I still say we have 10 kids, and I think I always will. Um, and then we have little Evan, who is becoming the star of Oso Farm. He is about to turn six this month, and um, our little Evan has Down syndrome and is the joy of our family. So I think what I'll do is get this stuff processed and put away, make a meal plan. Um, I'd like to do HEB also, so maybe any extra ingredients that I didn't get, I'll get there. I, I need to do better at getting more gluten-free items for me, so I'm actually just holding this talking to you so I don't have to unload all this stuff. Say that again. I said I'm actually standing here talking so I don't have to unload all this stuff. But we have to pick up our son from work at 9.30, so we have, we're kind of running out of time. We live about 30 minutes from town out in the country. Oh, on another note, my Emma and Christopher and baby Daniel are here. They live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So they're here um, as evacuees from the hurricane. So we kind of, we're thankful that they're safe and that we get more time with them. So we're gonna head home. Little Evan is already asleep. Sleep. Praise the Lord. And we're going to have a late night of getting this stuff put up. We are back from Aldi and Walmart. And before we show that, I was going to, we're going to insert our video from Sam's Club that we did earlier today. So a couple of things before we start in March, you can go back and watch our March grocery haul. We purchased a case of beef at Sam's and it has nine, nine tubes of meat. I don't know if that's nine what you tubes. call it. Meat nine. tubes. We'll show you in a second, <laughs> but so I only buy that about every five to six, six months. Six months. Yeah. And, um, while I'm doing this, he'll find the receipt. I think it was two seventy. Four, and we buy the 90-10, and then I'll process that in another video and show you. And then we also bought a case of meat, of chicken, but the case of chicken will be gone this month. Okay. I'm missing paper towels, but we also bought paper towels that last us one month. And these are breakfast sausage, and I only buy these every couple of months. Crescent rolls. These guacamole cups are really yummy. The member's yeah. mark is actually just as good as the, I think it's called holy guacamole. Breakfast sausage. This is, I think, yeah, two pounds. So this will be for two breakfast casseroles. 
Got ham and turkey for lunch meat. I keep this Parmesan cheese in the freezer and it lasts a couple months too. We are gonna make, I'm gonna get comments on how I'm saying this inappropriately. Carne asada, maybe that's right. That's correct. Okay, this month for the first time with the steak over there that I'll show you. And this was an impulse buy. I've been eating a lot of chips and dip. Hopefully, if you're not new here, you know I have celiac disease. I don't see any wheat in here. So this is just for me. I'm gonna hide that from the kids. This cottage cheese I bought because my Emma is here. She evacuated from the hurricane. They live in Louisiana. And one of her favorite meals is Pioneer Woman's spaghetti bake. I don't know what it's called exactly. We'll link it below. These frozen hamburger patties are for Labor Day. We are challenging my sister Jennifer and her family to a baseball game. And we're gonna have, cook out some hamburgers. This is just plain old good butter for cooking. We're gonna do some muffins this week. This is the white queso. The smoked sausage I use for probably two meals, just a um, smoked sausage, I don't know. Frozen stuff, tater tots, the boneless chicken. These are the buffalo style and honey barbecue. My kids really like this. This is just one lunch for them. One heavy cream, half and half, broccoli. So here's the beef skirt steak. We're gonna do beef fajitas once this month and then the carne asada. And I, there's a bunch of stuff on the floor so the lighting's gonna be bad. I needed more of these trays for freezer meals. This is the beef. I'm gonna have my husband get into that so that we can show you. So I just needed, this is just for my stock pack like to have two in the garage. And then I have one sandwich and one gallon freezer. And then I mentioned last month that our puppies, our dogs now are super picky. I, originally we talked about how it could be the heat, but we've been mixing their dog food with wet food. So this was actually cheaper at Sam's than any other place. And then this is big pack of rawhide bones for them. He's opening up the meat. So there are nine of these 90, 10. 90, 10, and it's about, I think they're 10 pounds. I think there's nine. There should be nine, and it was $274. No, there's eight. There's eight. So it's 80 pounds. Okay. And then we have a case of chicken. It's just their big... We go through this in about a month. That's crazy. We go through... There, each one is about six to eight pounds. This one's six. 0.88 and that's 8.15 so we'll see I'll process it this week and let you know if that's one month or a little bit more we got some honey almond butter we grill chicken cool it and then freeze it and use it all month long so we're gonna try this garlic parmesan and then I guess this is for hamburgers flavor bomb burger we'll try that on Labor Day I off I think it was our March haul these are the ones that I bought a few months ago and we've used a little bit more than half. So I went ahead and got these to just stick in the pantry. And I'm gonna try their creamy peanut butter. It's been a few months since I've gotten that. I always forget it at Aldi, so I just went ahead and picked one up. This is just the organ organic protein for smoothies. Bacon, this is just for salads, okay, maybe some eggs. Bacon this month was something that we just chose not to buy. The ones that I usually buy, it would have cost us almost $50. So I felt like that was a little bit too much. These are the carnation breakfasts and granola bars, fig bars. Those are our basics each month. Cheerios for Evan, Lucky Charms for me. These are gluten-free. This seems like a new limited edition. Here's somebody's leftovers. This is the tortilla chips. I actually usually get the ones that are members marked, but a little bit different. So we're gonna try these. There's two big bags in there. We'll do nachos one night and that will take up the whole bag. Here's some drinks. We drank all of our drinks from the beach. And so this is just for our garage, Dr. Pepper. 
There's 24 ginger ales and the LaCroix. I probably did not get enough mineral water. We'll have to get a little bit more. This is a huge thing of baking soda that I clean with it and I have been out for a while. So I went ahead and stocked up on that. It was under $8. Some cooking spray. Our monthly box of Quaker oatmeal canola oil. Here's another little one. Okay, honey garlic. That's for the grilled chicken. One thing of tuna. And then they actually had our coffee again that we normally buy. So we were really excited about that. And so every other month, we have to buy three, and then we buy two on alternating months. So we drink a lot of coffee. Okay, moving over here. I don't think I, I showed you the beef, but they have the Halloween M&Ms. I was going to make some monster cookies since we have extra company this week. And then I got two bottles of the yellowtail that I like. Baked potatoes are a favorite of ours. So I got a big thing of potatoes, the baking kind, and I'm going to get some more yellow potatoes at Aldi for mashed potatoes this month. This one looks like it's got a little bruise on it, but bell peppers. Definitely we'll get some green ones at Aldi. Here are some blueberries. These are for Evan Ray. Sometimes he eats a whole carton at a time, and then sometimes he will not touch them for weeks. So, you know. so just baby carrots fresh green beans. These I just kind of either can do in the skillet or I'll, when I make a sheet pan meal, like with the sausage, I can add those to it. They, some of the dates, I chose not to get some of their produce that I normally get because it was best by just in a few days from now. And so I didn't get a ton of produce at Sam's this time. So here's the romaine hearts. We go through probably four of these a month. I just don't have the space to keep them all in my fridge right now. So one um, day for lunch this week, we're going to have these sub sandwiches. And these are for Labor Day next week. In, so, or next week, so I'm going to put those in the freezer. And a thing of tortillas. And then this is what Evan chose. Out. They had a couple choices for boys for Halloween costumes. The sign there said it was $19.99. It's a cute little fireman Halloween costume with the helmet. But when we looked at our receipt, it was, here's a picture of it. It was um, $24. This is a sweatshirt that Brian saw for me and threw in the cart. It's really cute. It says Mama Bear. It's a really pretty color. It has this cute little detail at the top more underwear and these athletic shorts are we actually some of my teenage girls liked mine so I got two pairs for them I think lastly this is it for Sam's we got a box of the chicken broth green beans peaches tomato sauce rotel corn mac and cheese gran uh, some granola bars and pretzels I think that is it for Sam's. I'm gonna walk out here and show you the Atwoods. It's gonna be kind of dark in the hallway. Here's little Maya standing on it all. She's our firstborn animal on the farm. Um, so we're trying this way cheaper dog food because we mentioned that we're having to mix wet food with it and the wet food is really pricey. So I think this was, I'll have to look at my receipt. How much was this? 20 bucks. 20 dollars for 50 pounds. So we bought two of that. This is just the Ranch Hound Atwoods brand um, chicken and rice. And then we got one goat for Bowser and then one kitty one that you can barely, it's down in there that you can barely see. And then our box of bones. We talked about this in the last video about how we had been purchasing them at Sam's for much more. So my total at Sam's, we're super unorganized. Oh, here's, here it is. We expected it to be about 1300 because I normally spend anywhere from 800 to, it's usually closer to $1,000 at Sam's, but we knew we got the beef this time, which was close to 300. So our total at Sam's was 
$1,184.88, which we were really surprised that it wasn't closer to $1,300. So we're going to still need to go to get our typical stuff, um, Walmart. We get all of our toiletries from there and our Aldi run. And then this month I'll also include our um, fill-in hauls. So our my typical budget in the past has been $1,800 for groceries. In months past, it's been closer to $2,000. I think that's just with inflation and the prices of things, especially things like chicken and eggs. So I'll be curious to see this month, I've been kind of reading some articles about how the prices of um, food have gone up tremendously. And my son actually works at a local restaurant here in our small town. And the owner was sharing with my husband about how his cost of tomatoes has almost doubled. And so I'm wondering if in the coming months, we're gonna see more of that. So. We don't have a huge, we don't have a lot of wiggle room in our budget, so we may just have to end up getting more creative with what we eat in that budget, not get all the extras. This time. So we're gonna go check on dinner and then we will circle back around with our next, with our next haul. That's my sweet little Daniel crying in the background, bless his heart. So we're gonna start with Aldi. It's kind of unorganized because it's now 9.20 and we're just trying to push through so we can get this put away and get some rest in. Okay, so I only got one gallon of milk because I have so much meat that I have to process in my refrigerators that I did not have space for anything else. Sam's Club was out of their almond milk. I usually buy theirs. So again, I only bought two to make smoothies this week and I'll have to go and get more milk before the two weeks is up. This creamer is for my mom. She's coming in tomorrow to see her great grandson. And then this is the hazelnut creamer. I'll definitely need more, but that should get us through for a while. And I got two of these Alaskan cods. It said they had eight fillets in each one. I don't know if we'll just grill that or do tacos, fish tacos. Like I said earlier, I had not created my meal plan, so I'll create it based on this stuff. This is the gluten-free General Tso's chicken that is so good. I buy at least one or two a month. Their peaches were on sale for $1.70. I got one of those. Strawberries are looking kind of, I think that one got squished. It's probably kind of the end of strawberry season. I got those for Evan. Two bags of apples. Cilantro, spinach. I was going to try this Asian chopped salad. It did not say it contained wheat. Hopefully it does. Oh, it does. It says wheat right there. Okay, so they'll be eating Asian salad. Some jalapenos. Pinos? How do y'all say it? Jalapenos. Some lemons. They did not have limes. I got one, two, four packs of bananas. We'll freeze some and eat some. And their pineapple was on sale for under $2. So we got one pineapple. We got two cucumbers, some red onions. These are things my husband picked out that I've never tried before. This is sweet and spicy Cajun trail mix and Asian trail mix. This is one thing I got for my daughter, Evelyn, who is at college. My oldest daughter is gonna head and see her tomorrow to visit. So she's gonna take her some of these snacks that I'll show you. And this is also for her, this little pretzel slims. We got this spreadable butter, two things of mild cheddar and one of Colby Jack cheese. This is Evan's six count of yogurt. This should. Hopefully it lasts us about 10 days. Three things of cream cheese. This is pear chestnut candle from Aldi. It smelled really good. I think it was $3.99. So we got eight packs of the, we call them mumums. That's like the name brand. The apple rice rusks. Evan eats about a box at a sitting if he decides that he wants them. Let's see, that's Walmart. 
There's Christopher's legs. <laughs> um, this is another treat for my E.B. Kate at college. She ironically likes the off-brand of Pop-Tarts. So, got those for her, and I got this cereal for her. She Her meal plan at college is only Monday through Friday. So, on the weekend, she's got a little fridge in her dorm room. So, we need to make sure she's got enough snacks. So this is the cereal. We got two Fruit Loops, the Honey Wheat Puffs, Raisin Bran Shredded Wheat, and then Crispy Rice is to make monster cookies with, here's Brian's favorite granola, and this is also one he picked out. We got a different assortment of, a crack, of crackers, some wheat thins, some kind of off-brand Ritz crackers, and then I bought this last month, and the kids liked it. So I got one more package of those. Four cornbreads. Um, I bought that big thing of chips at Sam's. So just these three will get us through probably the next week and a half. Some graham crackers, breadcrumbs. This is from one recipe I want to make. This is another treat for my Evelyn. And two things of marinara sauce. I'm totally out in the pantry, but I wanted to make my meal plan before I decided if I needed to stock up. They were totally out of bread at Aldi. We went late Sunday night. They had no bagels, no rolls, no muffins. So this is the bread that we got. I usually get 100% whole wheat, so the kids will probably like that they were out of that. Here's some more yogurt bites for Evan. We had quite a bit left from last month. I think I overbought for the beach because I had no idea. So I just bought four. Here's some corn tortillas. They were also out of pasta. All I could get was two rotinis, two penne, and then here's some gluten-free crackers that I like. This is the brown rice, and then the tomato and basil. And all that is from Aldi. I think that's all that I bought at Aldi. And here's some of my Walmart order. They were totally out of this banana and strawberry, so I'm going to have to do an online order and just get Evan. Likes to mix this with his yogurt sometimes. One thing of mozzarella cheese slices, this is also for a recipe. This beef gravy is for another recipe. And then these are some gluten-free frozen dinners that I got. I actually like these. This is an easy lunch for me if they're eating something that I can't have. And then we do bagels on Tuesday, and the kids like the plain cream cheese and then they also liked this last month the brown sugar and cinnamon and then lastly oh they messed up his name here i uh we're using the homegrown preschooler and one of the things for the month of september was for him to have manipulatives out of the letters of his name. So I'm gonna let him paint these, put stickers on them, and then we're going to play with them this month and hopefully learn how to spell his name. So here's a gluten-free version of what I got for Evie Kate. Then I got these ciabatta rolls, these sandwich rolls for me. This is my little gluten-free portion. Some double stuffed gluten-free Oreos. I've tried the regular ones, but I haven't seen double stuffed before. This is like the Velveeta um, gluten-free. I'm gonna try that. I did like this last time, the gluten-free um, fig bars. My Emma requested these, the Cliff chocolate brownie, and then she's been drinking this body armor. She read somewhere, heard from her lactation consultant that it helps with her milk supply, and she thinks that it's working, so I got her some of those since she's staying with us this week. These are strawberry gogurts. They don't expire till October 22nd, so I went ahead and bought four because he can eat three or four in a sitting if it's something that he's actually wanting to eat. These eggs were over $7 a box, so I only got one, mainly because I didn't have room for any more, but. This is not groceries, but we were at Walmart and it's going to get cooler at some point. It's kind of hard to imagine when it's still 100 degrees, but we got Evan these size 6, 7. We got him a Batman one, a Mario Kart, and then a SpongeBob. He also doesn't always keep the covers on him, so I might put those on him sooner than later so he just sleeps better. 
These are for a that recipe that's the mozzarella cheese over there. We were out of just children's ibuprofen and acetaminophen, so I got more of that. I got some, let's see, three hand soaps for all our different bathrooms and then two shampoos. The kids use these floss sticks, so one for the girls' bathroom, one for the boys. This is for my Isaiah to try, this pure clean styling gel. And then Evan has been using the baby tear-free baby wash since he was born and he is now six. So we're gonna see, this says that it's tear-free. So hopefully he will like that and it won't burn his eyes. And then two flosses for Brian and I. I was gonna try this hairspray and then body wash for the boys. We almost didn't get one because Brian thought we had one in the cabinet, but I wasn't sure. So they were out of apple juice at Sam's. So I only got three this time. And then some two gallons of orange juice, the vinegar I used this size primarily for laundry and cleaning. And then I don't know if I already showed this, but this is the gluten-free cereal for me. So if I end up needing to make a, another small pickup order at HEB for a few ingredients that are not in um, this haul that I need for some things on my meal plan, I will show that in a separate video and I'll show you anything that we um, gather for the rest of the month to get us through. I have the receipts in my pocket. So I shared our Sam's total. I don't think I shared our Atwood's total and I don't have that receipt on me. So The Walmart total was $253.19 and Aldi total was $184.64 and then Atwood's was a little over $100. I can have my husband insert that total if I'm way off. So that is it for our big shop. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are a subscriber, we really appreciate you and your support. We're getting close to 3,000 subscribers, so that's really fun. And if you are new here, we would love to have you subscribe and be a part of our growing YouTube family. We're going to gather any questions from comments for, from our videos for the next couple weeks and do another Q&A. So if there's something that you're curious about or want to know about, we would love to answer that for you in an upcoming video. So thanks for watching. We hope y'all stay safe and be blessed. Bye.